you doing? <sighs> CV. What for? It's a work experience week next year. Miss Adams reckons I could be in with a chance of working with this magazine company. Really? Yeah. Is that what you want to do? I don't know, like maybe be a blogger or write articles or yeah, something like that. That's cool. A bit like what you did for the uh, school newspaper. Exactly. So why are you stuck? Ugh. Well, Miss Adams said I've got to let myself shine. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, big myself up, basically. That surely can't be too hard. <laughs> 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 okay, so read out what you've got so far. Okay. So, dear sir slash madam, I'm writing to express my interest in doing work experience at your company. I'm hardworking, trustworthy, and looking to pursue a career in media. Ugh, it just sounds so generic. Couldn't you, like, tweet them? Yeah, you can just see it now. At editorial, can I come in next week? They click favourite and retweet, and I don't even need to hand this in. Okay, yeah, that's... okay, I get the point. Well, what you've got so far sounds fine. Maybe just Google CVs. I'm sure there's a website which has loads of tips. Hmm. That is the best idea you've had all day. I'll leave you to it, Miss Editor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. See you later? Yeah. I've got English now, so I'll see you at lunch. Bye. How are you getting on with this CV? It's really hard, miss. What are you finding difficult? Standing out, I guess. Okay. Let's think about what you could include. There's your interests. What about your role at the student newspaper? I could write about that. You were great at that. Fantastic articles. And Mr Finlay chose that article for the end of year newsletter. These are great achievements. Yeah. I didn't think of that. Why don't you try writing a list of these achievements and then try to expand on them? Okay. Thanks, Beth. I'm going to need this by the morning, Rachel. The magazine's calling me at the end of the day tomorrow to let me know who they've chosen. 
Don't be worried. Remember, the most important thing is to... Let myself shine. Exactly. Thanks, miss. I'll try. Good luck. Hello, this is Miss Adams calling from Broad Oak High School. Yeah, I'm just ringing because I'm sending through some applicants to your team for tomorrow for the work experience week. Yeah, I just wanted to point out one of the applicants, Rachel Wright. I think she'd be wonderful. She's part of our school newspaper team and she shows so much potential. Yeah, would you consider looking up some of her work? I think you'd really enjoy reading it. Thanks very much, really appreciate that. Okay. Bye-bye. What are you doing? Just finishing off my CV. Still? Why make a good first impression? Such a good opportunity. Miss Adams actually thinks I've got a really good chance. Did you let yourself shine? <laughs> yeah, I think I did. Did you know that your best friend could be a famous magazine editor one day? <laughs> She's so right about me. Shh. <laughs> I don't think you count as being famous, Vicky. Oh. <laughs> Are you coming out tonight? Yeah. What time? Now? Okay. I've just got to press send to Miss Adams. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Dear Miss Adams, we are concerned that Rachel is sharing negative comments online. See link below. Our magazine has a strong digital profile and we are looking for students who wish to comply and contribute positively to this. We do not feel Rachel would be suitable and will not be offering the position this time. Well, good. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, everyone knows I can drink more than any of you can, so. Uh -huh. hey! Hey! Well done. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we've got any more. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Alright, man! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've put this on Facebook. Don't, don't say that! What? What? Please. It's a park, it's where children play. <laughs> oh. Go, go, go! <laughs> down, down it, down it! We like the dip, Vicky! Oh, mate, I'm so taggy with this. <sighs> no, don't! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, you did not just do that! <laughs> Alright, shut up, like. Oh, whatever, yeah, whatever. I'll give it here! Do a video if you uh, want. Okay, yeah. So, so okay. my name's Rachel Wright, and I'm really good at shouting. And what else? Oh yeah, I'm really good at writing really boring CVs, and I'm really good at. What else am I good at, Vic? Let yourself shine. Let myself shine. <laughs> shine <laughs> Miss, have you heard anything? Did I get in? They've already made their minds up, Rachel, and I think this had something to do with it. I told Vicky not to tag me in those. Miss, I never put those up. Like I said, Rachel, they've already made their minds up. If you post pictures of you and your friend, that's fine, but not with stuff like drinking or if you really want this job, you wouldn't go on social media and say, oh, this is boring, I don't want to do this, hard work. Um, it, when they say it's a footprint, it's what she leaves behind on the internet 
and it could give her a bad reputation. She was acting silly. Saying loads of stuff I, I bore in the CV was now friend. She almost lied to the teacher about she really wanted this job when what she posted online states the opposite. It's the image you're given of that company, so they want to make sure that you're given a good image of themselves. It, it makes like people in the school look bad as well. And how could she? How could she have prevented that? Uh, well, she could. For a start, she um, could have had her account on private. So, because if you're not on private, it kind of opens a wider range of possibilities that may not always Anyone be good and see anything, really. What she could have said was, to give a better reputation, I'm really excited, I'm really hardworking, I'm putting all I am into this, I hope they like me, instead of this is really boring, blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, it just shows that she doesn't care, but if she put it in a different manner that wasn't... She thought it was funny, but if she put it in the way she really felt like, it could have changed so much around. You need to stop and think, is, am I going to regret doing this in the future? And if, you're, if you think you will regret it, then obviously you've got to not do it. You need to make sure that what you post, you would, your family would be able to see it and not be embarrassed about you. So just think about other people seeing what you post before you post it. Mm, you can hide it off your timeline. And you can untag yourself. Everything you post on social media is recorded, and whether it's good or a bad thing, it represents you as a person. This, your digital footprint will brand you as a person, but it might just not affect you or affect others, giving them a bad reputation as well.